plan to get stray dogs off the streets. It's a problem, as we know, plaguing several local neighborhoods. And now one Houston City Councilman says he has the answer and the money for a new program to help. Channel 2's Brandon Walker joins us live on how it will work. And Brandon, we know this is a big undertaking here in Houston. Yeah, indeed it is, Sarah. And particularly for that program, how it's going to work is bottom line. They're going to use that money to beef up patrols to hopefully get many of those abandoned dogs off of the streets here in District D, where we are, which is on the southeast side. As far as that goes, residents here have long complained about strays. In fact, some residents tell me that they've gone a couple days without receiving their mail because their letter carrier felt threatened or, in one case, was in fact attacked by one of those abandoned dogs. It is a problem when you don't get your mail. Daryl Durden knows the problem all too well. Stray dogs wandering his neighborhood, and at times, he says, preventing letter carriers from delivering his mail. It's been an ongoing problem, and uh, it got you to the point where four or five days you, you, know, you, you don't have your mail, so you're wondering why. So I was sitting out. You know, waiting for the letter carrier. In fact, the problem is twofold. First, the city has a stray problem that's well known. I've seen people drop and run. Mm -hmm. It's very bad. Then there are safety concerns associated with that. In some cases, postal workers are being attacked while on the job. These workers need to be protected. District D City Councilman Dwight Boykin says he has a plan to start fixing that problem. And I have a, a allocation of dollars that I know that can make a, a drastic impact immediately towards curbing this epidemic in my district. He's doing so by using $50,000 from his district services council budget to help cover overtime costs for BARC employees to pick up strays throughout District D. With this morning's announcement came support from Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, who spoke on the issue of letter carrier safety and what Congress can do to address it. The one I like the most is retreating, going back to the station and indicating that it is not safe at this time in this block to deliver mail and not be fired and not be suspended. And back here live, as far as that goes, that would require some negotiation, some conversation between Congress, also the letter carriers organization there, the Postal Commission, that is. And so that'll be some time before we even begin to see some legislation or actual conversation taking place in that respect. But particularly regarding the $50,000 initiative, that's slated to start as soon as possible with, again, additional bark patrols here on overtime shifts looking through the area to pick up some of those abandoned dogs. We're live this morning on the southeast side. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC, Channel 2 News. All right, Brandon.